What is up, family? This is your local OG motherfucking Jeff Lowe. Up in this motherfucker. <clears throat> so I would like to give a third perspective, if you will, about the Supa Gathering. Because a lot of times, if you're part of an event you like as a gathering, it's hard to give cr constructive criticism. So let's jump into it. And just stats in general. You know, because facts, how do they work for him? Well, let's get into the main reason why I didn't want to go. And distance has nothing to do with it, seeing that uh, I could have got a ride from another juggalo if need be. <clears throat> but one of the main reasons was uh, the state's laws. Like, for example, anything over 30 grams is a felony, which I've done explain this before. That's pretty strict. Seeing that anybody going to a four-day event and they like to party, they're probably going to have more than an ounce on them. But either way, so the statistics with the cops... For example, was 160 people in total was harassed by the police. 81 of them was given uh, traffic tickets. 79 of them was arrested. Out of that 79, 19 was felons. Got charged with felonies. So, I guess the cops didn't have what it took to get that 20th, you know, so it would have been even more magical, right? Because I hear that a lot. Magic. 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 Yeah, you tell that to the people, 79 people that are probably in jail still to this day because of magic. <clears throat> now, well, you know, consideration, no one really has it, but it is what it is. Now, the thing with that is, well, if you, if you hold the biggest one of the biggest parties in the world, as in the gathering. It should be on your shoulders to make sure it's held in a safer state to where people won't get locked up as much or harassed by the police as much. Hell, the local police just bragged like a month or whatever it was before the gathering about how they busted all these people from the boogie. You don't recognize this shit? Granted, you done had it booked and it's already too late, but come on, fam. You should start warning people at least. Hey, you know, whatever. You know, you got enough emits on your fucking instant clown posse page to throw it out there, but then again, that's bad press. If you actually be honest about the crowds, then not many people probably want to come that ain't already got a ticket. I get it. I get it. Then we move past, uh, just move past the whole police fiasco, right? Let's just look past that. Well, then we got the juggalo fuckery that went on. <clears throat> Let's not get into the juicy one yet, which I'm sure you all have already heard, but I give my perspective on it because I find it funny in a bunch of ways. And a bunch of things that come out in the story I find real fucking funny. But, how about park property? Fucking destroy that, why don't we? Burn another park bench. People want to say, oh, well, there's only one picnic bench. Play the Yogi Bear fucking roll all you want. But at the end of the day, it wasn't your park bench. It wasn't that Juggalo's picnic bench. It wasn't that Juggalo's picnic bench. It was the property's picnic bench. So then... So you got the picnic bench get fucked up. Motherfuckers throwing mortars into the crowd. Well, see, the thing with that is, like, if people start getting injured really bad at facilities and shit, they can't be shut down by the city. Believe it or not, it can't happen. It's very rare, but it can happen. And if you got an event that holds the gathering, they'll probably be more likely to shut you down. 
because of said event. A lot of cities don't like don't like us. You should have learned that that year when they had to settle for Oklahoma City, right? That should have taught y'all something. But it didn't, because you're still burning park benches. You're still injuring people. And uh, from my understanding, Porta Potty got blew up. How true that is, I don't fucking know. But I read it in a few posts, so. And then, what else? What else? It's talking about what the last day when ICP was playing. A lot of people's shit got stolen. If you're listening to this, you might not be one of them. I get it. But other juggler shit did get stolen. So, I don't know what y'all motherfuckers are trying to do anymore. I thought it was supposed to be about, you know, respecting each other, etc., etc. But either way, so we get into uh, the drama. Now, one drama I'm not going to get into because that is up to said individual and said individual might change said mind about said group, which is the same group. Because, you know, after the years I've done YouTube, I've watched people go from saying, I don't like this guy to clout chasing and beating all of his ass. As in CPN. It is what it is. But I've seen it. <clears throat> and it's disappointing in some way, but it's whatever. I let it go. Well, so the way it went, from my understanding, from what I gather from both of them, so I listen to both of their stories. They had an issue with the golf cart. Now, that's just childish to begin with. The other juggler was talking about, oh, well, you didn't want to share the golf cart. So now he's public enemy number one. How about get off your ass and get your own? How about that? You ever thought about that one? Probably not. But, uh, oh, well, this, that, and we're supposed to. So so it's all good, like, you're supposed to share. But when the, the main head figure of Juggernauti, which... A lot of them all oh, know he's not the head figure, but a lot of it's been showing that a lot of people look at him as the fucking one of the top people. Oh, Juggernauti has a problem with somebody. Now we got an issue. See? So, he wanted to use a golf cart from what Wolf was saying. Saying he was all up all night on Coke and fucking Adderall. Hey, fam. Seeing you don't really know much about drugs, and I could tell, you know, at one time when you went on your rant about how you didn't want to take Molly, but you took X. Uh, both of them have the same active ingredient in it, dumbass. MDAM, look it up. The only difference is Molly is pure MDAM, dumbass, and ecstasy is usually mixed with some dumbass. So, moving along. <coughs> so, you're up on Adderall all night. Which, yet, yet again, that's methamphetamine. That pretty much laboratory made crystal meth, you junkie. And he wanted to court fucking uh, Roxy Red. Which, go figure, you know, you spend all of these years trying to get Jay's dick in your mouth. When all along, all you had to do is find someone that doesn't suck Jay's dick. And by default of you fucking sticking your tongue in her mouth, you got Jay's dick in your mouth. Good job, fam. Go achieve. You could die happy now. You finally got Jay's dick in your mouth. So, he got mad, and from what a lot of people said, he started punching him. Now, Wolf don't really admit to this happened. I guess he said he hit him a couple times or whatever. And Wolf kept on going, oh, well, it's a, it's a family, this, that, or another family. I don't, I don't hit friends. I don't hit family. Hmm. That's funny. Because, see, once someone hits you, you're, you're no longer your friend. You know what I'm saying? That's just how things usually go. But then again, you know, people don't understand how shit works sometimes. Like, for example, me personally, like, if I don't like you, I don't fucking like you. If I'm fucking dying of dehydration, I'm not taking a cup of water from you. If I still smoke cigarettes, I'm not taking a cigarette from you. If I needed a light from my blunt, I'm not taking a fucking lighter from you. I might not try to go out of my way and cause problems, but 
I'm not taking shit from you. I'd rather it be water or a fucking ride. Say my fucking shoes are falling off and shit. Walking on the gathering fucking gravelly road and it's ripping my feet up. Well, guess what? My feet's getting ripped. Because I'm going to keep on walking. But that's that fakeness that goes around. So it is what it is. Uh, either way. So that when all this shit happened, and then I'm, I'm listening to Wolf talk about, oh, well, uh, this person had my back. And Macahoe's gave me a look like, yeah, I have your back, fam. You know how he could have had your back? Is when shit was happening, he actually broke it up. That's how he could have actually had your back. <laughs> Just being honest. Uh, people people think others calling the police for them is some, some having their back, but not really. Because you could have called the police yourself, dumbass. But either way, and the, my, my first thought on this whole situation was, well, ain't they, they supposed to be friends? Ain't they supposed to be part of this jug and hottie? Have each other's back? But then my logic kicked in. See, because... With Juggernauti, it's very simple, right? Say you're Juggernauti, and you have a problem with someone outside Juggernauti. I have your back. Say for Juggernauti, you have a problem with maximum overload or your people. They'll turn on you. Say you're Juggernauti, and you have a problem with CPN. They'll turn on you. So it's not quite what it's put out to be. But it is what it is. Uh, but as in magic, uh, maybe the the events they had was dope. The music was dope. But just the overall aesthetics of everything it didn't seem so magical, fam. Uh, just the cops harassing people it didn't seem so magical, fam. Just people turning their back on people that they called friends and they talked about loyalty. Ain't loyalty in that fucking little pyramid of the fucking Juggernauti? Do we know what this word is? Uh, a lot of things were really disheartening, to say the least. And I, I feel like probably got kicked out of another venue. So maybe one day, as a whole, we'll learn to respect the place that we're at. Or one day you'll just be sitting at home masturbating when the time comes around to gather because there ain't no other place to gather. So you just gather your fucking hand with your dick. That's all you could basically do. So besides all that, man, I don't want to rant on said enough. Uh, to everybody that made it home safe and had a great time, happy for you. Much clown love, motherfuckers. Whoop, whoop.